this is Paul Check, and I am super excited to announce that we have decided to run my new Czech Holistic Coaching Program where I teach you the science and the art of how to coach people through the change process as part of their healing process, as part of their athletic development and goal achievement, and pretty much about any form of guidance that you can think of this holistic coaching program is ideal. So if you're in any profession where you're leading other people from being a nurse to a doctor to a school teacher to a dance and movement educator, personal trainer, strength coach, even massage therapist, or even a mother or a father, this course is loaded with highly practical, very, very interesting techniques and education for you. We're going to run this course September the 15th through the 18th somewhere in the United States. We haven't chosen the location yet because I said if you want me to go somewhere to teach, it's got to be somewhere nice. And I wanted it to be a place where if you come from another country or a long distance, you might want to stay a few extra days and enjoy the chance for a nice little vacation. So what am I going to teach you? Well, I'm going to teach you all sorts of amazing stuff. Let's have a quick look. So first of all, I'm going to teach you what a holistic coach is. Well, the first thing I'll tell you is to become a holistic coach, we want to pay close attention to what the Buddha said. You cannot travel the path until you become the path itself. So what's really unique about my coaching program is I'm not just teaching you how to guide other people. I am taking you deep into yourself to understand your own life process, your own challenges, and learn to coach yourself first because when you master yourself, other people are much easier to manage and you have much more empathy and compassion for them because you realize how much focus and effort it takes to change even some of our own little habits that are not ideal for us even and we know it. So we often have these eating habits or exercise habits or behavioral or emotional or relational habits that seem to stick like glue. But it's easy to forget about those things when you try to coach other people because then you don't have to pay attention to yourself. So in this program, we go right into you, the coach, and apply the very techniques I'm teaching you to apply to those that you're leading so that you really have authentic mastery, not just intellectualism. Remember Carl Jung said, intellectualism is a common cover-up for fear of direct experience. That means people tend to talk about DFI and fill their head full of facts and figures so they look really cool in front of other people's when they're really actually afraid of engaging in their own healing and in their own life process. So we will take our own life process full on. And what we're gonna do is look at what it means to be a holistic coach. To do that, I'm going to use Ken Wilber's very, very excellent four quadrant model of how life unfolds itself, or how spirit, if you will, unfolds itself in life. What are we gonna look at? There's four quadrants to the model. This is called the upper left quadrant, which is the personal interior. Here we deal with the subtle elements of ourself. The subtle elements of ourself relate to what is called the psyche, in psychology. So Osho said you can cut open the dancer but you will not find the dance. The dancer is over here in the personal exterior where everything is relative to something you can weigh or measure or what we call objective. So here's where brain scans happen, this is where blood tests are done, this is where hormones are measured, this is where your body weight's measured, and this is where behavior is analyzed such as if you film children when they're throwing a spat in class and analyze it, that would be over here. Then we're going to go and look at the collective interior. So this is how the psyche manifests in groups such as family, tribe, or culture. Then we look over here at the collective exterior, and this is all the things that we interact with in society and even at home. Your house, your car, the road systems, telephone systems, internet systems, anything that controls the flow of energy or is a place that we go to. Churches, temples, train stations, airports, all of that is where we act life out. 
So now in this program, I'm going to teach you how to understand archetypes. Archetypes are the guiding impulses that draw us into wanting to do things. Some of you women have had this burning urge to be a mother. That's an archetypal uh, reaction. In other words, you're being, as Jung would say, you're, you're being possessed by the archetype. Not in a negative way, but you're being drawn to do that. Some of you are in a job and you know that you're not enjoying yourself and that you're just trying to figure out what it is that you want to do. And all of a sudden you realize you want to do something different. So there you see the activation of an archetype. A myth is your story. Myth really means what is your life story. So here in the realm of the psyche, the personal interior, we look at what is drawing you forward, what we call that the dream in the check system. What is your dream? What is the story you're living? Here you see that you are the actor of your own story and you're acting out roles or archetypes. Here we see that the family, tribe, and culture is the cast in the play. We're all in a big play with each other called life. And our relationships with family, friends, tribe, and culture have a huge influence on how healthy or unhealthy we are. And coaches need to understand that if you want to be holistic. And over here is the stage. So everything in the this quadrant, the lower right quadrant, relates to where we act it all out. So just like a dancer, the psyche of the dancer is moving the body on the stage and there's people watching in the audience. So everything that we do as a holistic coach has to do with addressing the challenges that each of us face living in these four quadrants. So that's what it means to be a holistic coach and we'll get right into that. We'll also look at how to practice whole brain learning. We're going to look at the rational and the irrational elements of ourselves and our clients. We're going to look at how to integrate movement with our daily practices to integrate the right and left brain hemispheres. We'll look at how diet can affect all aspects of coaching, which is rarely ever looked at in any traditional coaching model. Now we're going to look also at Jung's four qualities of consciousness, thinking, feeling, sensation, and intuition. And I will show you how to assess where you're at in that model and what is the strengths that you have, but what are your weaknesses. And I'll show you that many people run into repeated trouble because they're acting too much out of one profile, such as thinking too much or too much sensation, but not enough intuition or feeling. Anyone can be in any category of those four qualities of thinking, feeling, and intuition, but to help coach somebody to achieving their dreams, we have to help them balance the use of those four qualities of consciousness, or they always have blind spots that cause them to bang into the same challenges over and over again. So we're going to look at those four quadrants, we're going to look at archetypes, we're going to look at myths, and we're also going to look at a very interesting concept that I use really quite often in my practice called a counter-myth. So your myth means your story, and the counter-myth means the challenges that you're creating by continuing to live that story. So the coach will learn how to identify the counter-myth and create an effective counter-myth so that they can then take the old story and help you write a new story that is dream affirmative. There's all that in this program and a lot more. If you sign up for the live course, you get the online course for free because in the four days we're going to spend together, I'm going to focus on the key points and practices to take you through a lot of these drills and experiences as a living practical experience with me right there to help guide you through it but we'll use the e-learning platform to reinforce that learning experience so we can maximize our four days together. And after four days, you can still go back to the e-learning and sharpen up on any of the parts that you needed more reinforcement on. And I think it's an absolutely phenomenal deal. You can actually take the course with me live and take it online for the same price. I can't wait to see you there. I've been practicing and growing and developing myself for 32 years. Many of these techniques I've not even taught to my most advanced students because there are things that take a lot of synthesis and time and practice to understand and develop and I have to put myself through the process first. But I'm at the point now where I've mastered a lot of these things and get great results with my clients and I am so excited to share this with all of you because right now the world needs a lot of healthy, intelligent, grounded, wise coaches and I know how powerful a healthy, effective coach can be in relationships 
And this is an exciting opportunity for your own growth and to give a gift to the world, which is effective guidance. I'm looking forward to seeing you somewhere beautiful in the United States, probably not too far from California, because I don't like to travel, maybe here too, but we'll have a great time. Bring your mother, bring your brother, bring your coach, and bring your doctor for sure. See you then. I'm Paul Check.